Example number two, determine the internal shear and moment acting at a section passing through point C in the beam shown in the figure. So as you can see here, we have a uniformly varying load with 0 at point A and 20 at point B. So first thing that we are going to do here is to compute for the reaction at the supports. So at A, we have two reactions here. So we have the AY and the AX. And for B, since this is a roller, so you have only one reaction and that's BY. Now, for the resultants of the load here, we just take the area of this triangle and that resultant is acting on the centroid. So from the topic ng centroid, the centroid of the triangle can be found at one third, two thirds. No? That's one third from the right angle and two third here. So for the distance, you have one third of L, that's nine, so it's three meters here, and two thirds, so that's six meters here. So, yun yung location ng resultant ng load. And computing for the resultant of the load, that's the area of the triangle. So, it's one half. The base is 9 and the height is 20. So that would give us 90 kN. So it is the magnitude of the resultant. Now, in order for us to solve for the reaction at B, we have to take moment at point A. So we have to summate moment at point A is equal to 0, taking the clockwise direction as positive. So we have here the resultant of the load, which is 90 kN, multiplied by the moment arm, that's 6 meters. And this BY here is counterclockwise, so it's negative, multiplied by the moment arm, which is 9, is equal to 0. Now, solving for the value of BY, and that would give us... So, 90 divided 9 is 10 times 6, that's 60 kilo newton. And positive yung lumabas na sagot, meaning tama yung assumption natin that BY is directed upward. So, if... The answer here is negative. Kontrahin lang natin. So, mali lang yung assumption mo. Instead na upward siya, it's downward. Now, summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. Taking the upward direction is positive. Then we have here, AY is directed upward. Assumed, no? The directed upward. Minus 90 kN, the resultant of the load. And the BY, which is 60 kN upward, is equal to 0. Now, solving for the value of AY, then, and we have here 30 kN positive, so meaning tama yung assumption natin that the AY is directed upward. Now, we cut it here sa point C in order for us to expose the internal loadings. So, we have here our beam. And this height here, I tatawagin natin y. And of course, this is 3 meters, no? Given the problem. And so reaction natin dito sa point A. We have AY, which is 30 kN upward. And summation of process horizontal, this AX is equal to 0. So wala na siyang reaction dyan. And in here, for the resultant of the load here, we have one half of 3y, right? Because the area of the triangle here has the base of 3 and the height of y. So that would give us 3y over 2. Now, in order for us to solve for the value of y, we have to take the ratio and proportion. Because if in here, this is y, this is 20. So you have this triangle here, which is, this is y, and this is 20, and this is 3, and this is 9. So by ratio and proportion, we would have 20 is to 9, y is to 3. So meaning y is equal to? So we have here 20 over 3. 
So if y is equal to 20 over 3, meaning this load here is 3 over 2 times 20 over 3 is equal to, so cancel yung 3, 20 divide 2 is 10. So this is 10 kilo newton. Now, expose natin yung internal loadings. Since dito tayo nag-cut, can tinake natin yung left portion of the beam. So we have here the NC directed to the right, the VC directed downward, and counterclockwise MC. So remember the sign convention. If we are going to summate forces vertical is equal to zero, taking the upward direction as positive. So we have here 30, that's upward. Minus the This y here, um, dadaan tayo sa computation natin sa ratio and proportion, which is 20 over 3. So, 20 over 3 is y. So, y here is 20 over 3. If y is 20 over 3, then magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang figure dito. This rectangle here and the triangle. If this is 20 over 3, Then, this would be 20 minus 20 over 3. So, we have 20 minus 20 over 3. And that would give us 40 over 3. So, this is 40 over 3. Now, computing for the resultants of the loads. So, we have two resultants here for the rectangular load and for the triangular load of the section, as you can see here, this is 3 meters and the total is 9 meters, so meaning this section to the right is 6 meters in length. And for the resultant of the rectangular load, it is just the area of the rectangle. The height is 20 over 3 and the length is 6 meters, so that is 6 times 20 divided by 3 is equal to... So that's 6 times 20 over 3, that is equal to 40 kN. So this is 40 kN. And for the triangular load, and for the area of the triangular load, the length is 6 and the height is 40 over 3. So that's 1 half times the length and the height of 40 over 3. 
that is equal to 40 kilonewton. So this is 40 kilonewton. Here, sa left portion, we have 10. And on the right portion, we have 40 and 40. So the total is 90. And the total here is 90. For the distance, since we are taking the moment at point C, and in here at point C, my expose na yung internal loads natin, and that is the normal. That is the normal directed to the left. That's NC. The shear force directed upward, and the moment directed counterclockwise. So since we are taking moment here, moment arm for the resultant of the rectangular load is half of 6 meters, so this is 3 meters. And the moment arm of this 40 kN resultant of the triangular load is 2 thirds of the distance 6. So that's 2 thirds of 6. And that is equal to 4 meters. So, summation of forces vertical is equal to 0, taking the upper direction as positive. We have here VC directed upward, so it's positive, minus the resultants of the loads 40 and 40, so that's 80. And it's negative because it is directed downward. For the 60 kN reaction here, so that's positive. And this is equal to 0. So Vc is equal to negative 20 lipat sa kabila. So magiging positive. It's positive 20 kN. And this is our answer which is the same dito sa sagot natin kanina. Summation of moment at C is equal to 0 taking the clockwise direction as positive. So since we are taking the moment here, um, the first one na magkikreate ng moment is this 40. So that's clockwise. It's positive. Multiply with the moment arm, it's 3 meters. Plus, this 40 will create the clockwise rotation. Multiply with the moment arm, that's 4 meters. And the 60 kN here will create the counterclockwise rotation, so it's negative 60. And the moment arm here is 6 meters. And the moment at C here is directed clockwise, so it's positive. This is equal to 0. And our moment at C is equal to, so it's 40 times 3 plus 40 times 4 minus 60 times 6 plus the moment at C is equal to 0. Shift, solve, equals, and that would give us 80 kN meter. And this 80 kN meter here is the same with our previous answer. So, it's up to you kung anong gagamitin yung solution. So, ito ba yung left portion ng beam o ito yung right portion? Since pareho lang naman yung sagot. Pero, in this case, mas madali yung solution sa left portion compared to the right portion.